In an earlier chapter, we looked at the use of a directional light as a way to simulate light from the sun. But there is a much better and stronger tool available, and that's the Heliodon, which is available here in the visualization palette. Now, a Heliodon is one of those uh, tools that we find in Vectorworks that is incredibly powerful, but has a very easy interface to use, very user-friendly, and uh, it allows you to create excellent lighting very easily right from the beginning, but it has enough power to also create a whole array of customized settings if you need them. So let's take a look here to see how the Heliodon works in, at its most basic uh, way. So let's first render this. This is a top plan view, and let's render this in uh, OpenGL. And now we'll click on the Heliodon tool and uh, double click in the scene and right away we see that there is a sunlight and it's casting uh, a shadow. Now you see the object info palette identifies this as a heliodon and since we're in top plan view what we're seeing here is the directional light that is embedded within the heliodon. So the heliodon is a tool that has the directional light embedded within it but also provides access to a whole series of settings and and small tools that are not accessible or not available when you're only dealing with a directional light. So with the Heliodon selected we can see that there are a number of different settings here that you can adjust time, day, month, uh, daylight savings, physical sun and, and so forth. Now a couple of important buttons in the object info palette worth looking at are the settings button and the solar animation button. Let's take a look at the settings button. And here basically the settings button allows us to uh, to customize our settings for the Heliodon with a little bit greater accuracy than what is available to us strictly in the object info palette. And we can choose a region for the sun and a city and, and so forth. This is pretty self-explanatory. The other one is solar animation, the solar animation button, and this is where we access the ability to move the sun in the sky according to time of day and uh, the month simply by using the sliders among other things you can also click these arrows to change to change the settings incrementally but you can see that just by moving the sliders not unlike the directional light sliders in many ways but in this case the sliders are tied specifically to the settings we saw earlier, such as the city, for example. Now, this solar animation dialog here also gives us access to exporting an animation, a solar shadow casting animation, by clicking the Export Movie tab. And the, the, these settings that you see here and the process for exporting a movie are explained in the accompanying text, so please take a look at that. One of the other things that we see here in the solar animation dialog is how we are viewing the scene in relation to the Heliodon. So simply by clicking on these other alternatives, we can see that we can look at the scene from the position of the sun toward the layer plane center or we can also look at the scene from the sun to the center of the heliodon. Basically it's a way of looking to see what the sun can see at any given moment. We can also just go back to our view that we had a little earlier, uh, which is the current view. So these are just some of the capabilities, but if you don't need to arrange any of these settings or change any of these settings or customize them, simply clicking on the Heliodon tool of the visualization tool set and double clicking in the scene to place it is enough to start you off providing exterior illumination that works very nicely from the get-go.